She's following right in the footsteps of some of the biggest and most popular and rich streamers all around the world. The likes of Kai Sina, the likes of Pokey Main, Ninja, you name them. She's really, really trying to be like them and she really has a chance of becoming one of the biggest streamers, one of the biggest names on Twitch in Kenya. She's a 19 year old gamer from Nairobi and if we have to follow her long enough, we might be staring at the next millionaire. Well, let's get to know more from Stephanie. Hi, Sudan. How are you doing? Hi. Looking very good. Thank you. And smelling very good as well. <laughs> Say thank you. Thank you. All right. So who is Stephanie? I'm known as Nira on the gaming space and online. I stream on Twitch and I'm part of the gaming community in Kenya. How big is the gaming community in Kenya? And um, how close is it actually? When I, okay, you need to be in the community long enough to realize how big it is. Mm -hmm. When I started gaming, it was mainly the small bubble of friends that I'd play with on a daily. But now there's like a gaming community group on WhatsApp with like 15, with like 1500 people. Oh, wow. Yeah, and we have smaller WhatsApp groups. Telegram. WhatsApp. WhatsApp, oh, yes. okay, okay. So we have smaller groups with, for individual games with different people. And we do keep contact with each other a lot. Mm -hmm. We also have a lot of conventions and meetups with each other. You do? Yeah. Wow, okay. Where do you normally, <laughs> when is the last meeting that you guys actually had? Um, it's held by um, a group, okay. Yeah, a group called MGX. Mm -hmm. The last one we had was last year, December. And there's one in two weeks. What exactly happens in a gamers meeting? Is it even fun? Yes, it is. Actually, it's it's fun. Very entertaining. I, I, okay. You meet a lot of different individuals. Mm -hmm. You find cosplayers, people dressing up as characters from their favorite games, oh, wow. animes. And then like the one that's coming up mm -hmm. is a LAN, like a LAN meetup. Mm -hmm. So basically you carry your setup mm -hmm. and you go spend the whole night with gamers each other ah. you're playing by you're playing next to people mm -hmm. on a shared network so you're there the whole night with mm -hmm. each other you spend wow. time yeah that doesn't sound very fun to me it is <laughs> it is my favorite characters in game wise are probably from the game i'm playing right now mm -hmm. there's marcy and widowmaker yeah those are my favorite characters I'm, right I'm now i'm so confused <laughs> <laughs> For the people who are not gamers like myself, and yeah. I, I, I'm speaking for a lot of people, are the games that you play the kind of games that I can download on Google Play? Um, yes and no. Yes there's and no. some okay. games that mm -hmm. you can find on Google Play. Like, there's a game that I enjoy playing called Genshin. It's mm -hmm. more relaxed, it's story related. Mm -hmm. So I feel like that's a, a game that people can relate to easily. It's like GTA, mm -hmm. but like, more cartoonish it's mm -hmm. mainly very cartoon styled mm -hmm. yeah so what really pulled you into the world of gaming what what was the first thing that made you feel i want to be part of this world um i've i've had a very close relationship with gaming i started gaming when i was eight like my dad would buy me the portable playstations mm -hmm. i have like three of them i still have them oh wow yeah, and I would go with them everywhere, like we'd go on road trips. Years ago. Yeah. Wow. I'd have them like in the car on road trips. Mm -hmm. I'd just keep myself occupied with them. And then as I grew older, the like the more it grew onto me, it became something that stuck with me. And I realized that gaming can be more than just a passion, can also branch into career. Can you actually pursue gaming as a career? Yes you can. In Kenya. We, okay, we've brought it up recently. It wasn't so common in the past. It's a new, it's a new thing in Kenya, mm -hmm. but I think it's actually becoming very common. I know a lot of people that are walking into the gaming space with an aspiration to make it a career. So it's, it's something that's growing and I'm very passionate to see how far we can get with it. So is that something that you're looking at and saying, I can, you know, I can, you know, pursue it professionally and I'm not just doing it because it's a hobby of mine or something? Yes. It's, okay. I feel like it's, why it stuck on me is because I'd always want a career where you'd enjoy doing what you're doing. Yes, yes, yes. So gaming and being able to monetize entertain, entertain and monetize it was was a great idea so mm -hmm. i decided to pursue it what is the average gamer like 
I feel like we're all the same. Okay. You and I, I don't think we're the same. No, gamers. <laughs> all the okay, gamers. Okay. gamers. I feel like we're probably all the same. Mm -hmm. We will have prolonged hours where we're on the game. Mm -hmm. And we have very bad sleep schedules. Oh. <laughs> I, 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 I imagine that. I imagine yeah. that. Uh -huh. But I feel like I, you spend a lot of hours on the game, not not mainly because of the game you're playing, because of the people you're playing with. with yeah, you're it's with. it's more important than the game itself. Mm -hmm. The interaction with other people, mm -hmm. I think, is what keeps people on the game longer. What is the social life of a gamer like? Because I feel like you people are really introverted. You don't really do you go out? Do you more? Do you go out? Not you, the entire community. <laughs> Um, you spend your time, you know, in the house all the time. I feel like yes, but I feel with the with the upcoming conventions and everything, it mm. kind of forces us forces us to stay like outside and not keep to ourselves as much. Mm -hmm. So you'll find us like it's almost every two months that we meet with each other. So that it's is a long time. <laughs> it's, like, it's, oh, a lo <laughs> it's a short time I in the gaming. Like one weekend <laughs> in the house. That you gamers can go for like entire like two months, you know, just in the house, just chilling, yeah, doing your thing on TV. Yeah, I feel like you're not really bored because you spend time with people, even though it's not physical. You're yeah. still spending a lot of time with people on like PlayStation parties. I am on Twitch. I have five hundred and forty followers, mm -hmm. and um, I was really drawn into Twitch because of the idea of getting to interact with people from around the world. When I'm just sat in, on, your house. in my own house, yes. yeah. yeah. So you just—it's as simple as starting a stream mm -hmm. and people joining. Mm -hmm. You spend a couple of hours so streaming. Let me, let me, let yeah. me get this: uh, How different is Twitch from YouTube for the average person viewing this? How different is Twitch from YouTube? Um, and how do you get all these people from across the world to join you in the in the game? Okay, Twitch, I'd say, is mainly gaming-related. Yeah. When people go on Twitch and start a stream, you're mainly going to find gaming content. So it's easier to find people in your niche that are willing to watch your stream. Yeah. As for YouTube, YouTube is more diverse. You can find everything Pretty on YouTube. Everything. Cooking, yeah, cooking, traveling. Yeah, so beauty. whatever you want to do on YouTube, you can mm -hmm. stream whatever, mm -hmm. and it's easy to fit in. Mm -hmm. So... YouTube is more accessible for people because a lot of people know YouTube, mm -hmm. but Twitch is more like a target audience. Yes. And have you been able to monetize out of that yet, or are you trying to work on that? I've been streaming on Twitch for two years. Mm -hmm. I have monetized. That's a long time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've been able to make money on Twitch. You have been able to make money. Yes. Are we Are we talking good money here? Are we talking? You're buying me lunch today. Uh, what kind uh, of money are we talking? About? You can find me at the end of the month. Ah, okay. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> That's when they pay you, so they, they normally pay you just normally like YouTube? Yes, monthly. Okay. okay. But Twitch is more, your payment is community based mainly. Mm -hmm. It's not AdSense like YouTube. Which means, oh, what? like if I'm watching you, yeah. it's like it's like TikTok, they have this, this you know, part where they have gifts. Yeah, like if yeah, I'm it's like you, gifting, yes. Yeah, I think I read that this morning actually. Yes. I can send you a gift and then people from all over the world can send you $100,000. Yes, people can or send. Or $10,000, depends. Yeah. Right? So for me to make money out of Twitch or out of gaming, I have to be really good at my thing. Or I, yes. I just need to have subscribers? You need to be, you need to be, um, I'd say good, but mm -hmm. also close with your community. You want your community to feel like you're a safe space. Yeah. What would you say are the cons? of gaming or the being cons. in that particular industry okay the cons as a female gamer is it's not that well like people aren't that accepting of female gaming in the mm -hmm. world and everything so you meet a lot of people that have sexist comments towards you oh. but you just you get used to it mm. um you also i don't know it's harder to make friends because mm -hmm. there's the constant thinking, if I turn on my mic, what if someone's just going to say something so rude just because they find I'm a female? Oh. Yeah, it's okay. it's very prominent. So making friends that you play with it's is, tough. yeah, it's hard. Wow. My favorite streamer on Twitch is, she's called Pokimane. Mm -hmm. 
she's been she's a very big name in the Twitch community, okay, especially as a female streamer. Mm. And I think she's been a big inspiration because you've seen the negatives and the positives that have come with her being on the platform. Okay. And so like I take her as motivation even when you feel like things aren't going as planned you, you know yeah you know, know that there's a still a very strong possibility mm -hmm. of you getting where you want to be must i come from a rich family to be a popular streamer because now I don't know, I don't know. I honestly don't know. i don't think so okay there's do you think there are streamers in meru tigania east <laughs> <laughs> No, I don't uh, think so. Streamers, they're just these cool kids from Nairobi's upper Kilimani areas. I think there's a possibility of them starting to there's stream. There's no stream in my village. There's no. <laughs> there's no. It's not as easy because you need resources to be and able access to stream. To some of these things. Yeah. Yes. And it's not that easy, but we want it to be more like inclusive. Inclusive. Yeah. You can find out there's someone streaming from, I don't know. Isiolo. Yeah. Really, from my guys, the guy behind the camera is from a tiny village in <laughs> the I don't think, guys, there there's no way they can stream. There's no, there is no <laughs> way they can stream. 